Now they are both in the same spot, saving texture resolution this way. And that's the walls unwrapped. The top, if I can select the top. Okay, there we go. That's just a square, but this is especially important to apply the scale to, otherwise, as you saw, it just came in as a square, and this is very much not a square. So, control A, apply rotation. Not rotation, silly. Scale, then I can unwrap it, and you see that looks much more appropriate. So I'll move that off to the side as well. Actually, I'll clean these up right now. So in this case, you'll see that these aren't quite going to line up very well if I were to just place them on top of each other. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to align the Y coordinates of this first individually, and then we will be able to align them together. Oops. See there? See how that rectangle right there looks a little bit brighter? That means that the UVs are overlapping. So I'll align these together. Maybe move them back a little bit. And then I'll align these together. There we go. Perfect. All right, now here comes the tricky part. So what we need to do now is we need to be able to pack all of the UVs for all of these objects into one square such that they are not overlapping where they're not supposed to be. To do this, we need to be able to edit a few, we would need to be able to edit a few of these objects together at once. Blender does not give us this functionality, at least not by default. I have found a script that allows you to select multiple objects and edit them together. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. However, it is a little buggy and has a tendency to be a bit destructive in nature, as in it can, it can change the pivot points of your objects and also deletes a lot of modifiers you may have on them. So I don't recommend it for production work, however, if you want to give it a try, I've found it useful in some cases, but in this case, because these objects are not going to animate independently of each other, I'm just going to combine them all into one object, but I need to be smart about how I do this. First things first is I need to mirror both the cables and this cable hub over to the other side of the container. So I'll select them both, making sure to select the hub second, hit Control J. And now you see I have both of those UV groups. Then what I can do is I can move the cursor to the center and then move my origin to my 3D cursor. Apply my rotation. And then I can add a modifier, a mirror modifier that is, mirroring it across the X and I'll just apply that right away. Same thing for these bracing bars. I'll merge them all together, move the origin to the cursor, and mirror these ones across the Y axis. Again, Y going down the length of the container. There we go. I'll apply that. So now our model-wise, our container is finished. Now when it comes time to merge all of these objects together into one, first make sure you save before you do this, just in case something goes wrong. When we merge objects together, it will destroy modifiers that are not applied to certain objects. And what I mean by this is watch what happens when I apply my hub and my cables and what 
when I join it to, say, my corrugated sheets. I hit Control J, you'll see the modifier disappears. The reason for that is because the corrugated sheets do not have the modifier on them. And the new joined object will assume whatever modifiers are on the last object you have selected. So in this case, the last object I'm going to select is going to be the framework, and I'll just put on an edge split modifier, set it to use sharp edges, and not touch it. That way it'll still use the sharp edges from my cables and my hubs and my bracing bars, but it still won't affect the appearance of the corrugated sheets or the framework. So with that out of the way, I'll select the top, the sheets, one of the cable hubs, actually yeah, both of them, the doors, the bracing bars, and then finally the framework. Hit Control J, and as you see, now everything is one object. We can select everything, and we see all of our combined UVs over here on the right.